itself for when we are doing the site clearance uh, how do we measure it we shall take the external dimensions of the uh, plan then we shall add the spread you see this spread here you see this one the foundation trench is 600 and the wall is at the center which is 200 so this space that is left this side and this other space left this side which are equal they are called the foundation spread okay so 600 minus 200 we shall get 400 400 divided by 2 it's 200 so every side of the trench we shall leave a spread it is spreading out 200 so when we are doing site clearance which we, sh we shall consider that we shall do the trench and it will involve the whole of 600 so when you are finding the perimeter of this building okay we shall have to add the spread or around on the outside why are we not adding in the inside because the spread on the inside will be you see there it is under the hard core it is already considered it's in the building the one that was not considered when you take the external dimensions of the building is the spread on the outside so we shall take the total external dimensions of the length which is 200 plus 600 plus 200 plus 4000 plus 200 uh-huh we shall get 10200 uh huh, 10 200 for 6000 plus 400 plus 200, 10 200. Then we shall add these walls 400, okay? Uh huh, then we shall add the projection 200 on each side, so it we add another 400. So the total length for length is 11,000. Good, so now we shall go to width. The width is 6200 if you add all these dimensions you'll get 6200 plus 400 then we add the projection this side 200 and the projection the other side you can see that we have assumed this diagram is a rectangle by taking 11,000 and 7,000 remember when we are entering the uh, dimensions in the dimension column we would write them to two decimal places and in terms of meters okay that's why there's a difference between 11,000 11,000 here shall be 11.00 7,000 shall be 7.00 because when you are booking them uh, we do them in terms of meters there's a video that we have done to show how you enter dimensions into a takeoff sheet kindly look for it if you're new to this thing if you're a big leaner, kindly go look for that video so that it can explain to you how you fill this takeoff sheet okay all right the video is on your screen if you see that link just follow it go study then you'll come back okay so uh now that we have taken this uh this uh, plan is a rectangle we shall need to come and deduct the void here and before we go to deduct uh, that was why i was just explaining why we are writing it as a rectangle we shall then deduct this dimensions of this rectangle here now uh these ones are the dimensions where we shall clear the site of all bushes okay and other growth and burn all arising because we are told uh we we have not been told that the site is bushy but as long as we are told the, to, the topsoil has not been removed, you can either in, put this part of clearing the site or you can just ignore it. Okay, then you are told excavate away 150 millimeters deep to remove vegetable soil. We are already told 150 millimeters. I have already explained how you, uh, you remove the vegetable soil um, in the area that you have cleared the site. So you shall remove it 150 millimeters deep then this soil after the vegetable soil we shall not use it to refill we shall uh, put it in a heap of soil that we call cut away this soil shall be taken away from the site an average of 100 millimeters distance just in case we will need some more soil from from this heap of soil called cut away we shall return it to another heap called refill and ram. But for now, just know there is a heap of soil called cutaway. Now, on the same dimensions, we shall excavate in reduced level, commencing from stripped level. Stripped level is the one that we have removed the vegetable soil. An average of 135 millimeters deep and cut away from the site. I have already explained how you get the reduced level, whereby you just add the thicknesses of these layers so that you can get the total depth then you deduct above the ground and the stripped level then you remain with the reduced level so you will need to reduce the level by another 135 millimeters so that you can get the uh, to the depth which is below the hard core 
right so now we shall go to the void that i told you about we have assumed it's a rectangle but there is this area which is outside the building that we have already considered now we need to subtract this area so this area the length you can see from here are external dimensions to here it's 4000 when you add the wall Mm -hmm. it gets to 4200 the width is 2000 plus 200 2200 now why are we booking 4.2 and 2.2 i will use my pen to show you very clearly mm, we shall just uh-huh we shall just extend now when we say that we shall add the projection assuming the projection was added to this one assuming this length that i've added is only 200 millimeters i know it looks big but assuming this is just 200 millimeters more uh -huh. when we come to the void remember that this uh we need this space for the um for the projection for the spread so we shall allow for the spread this way up to here so the void will be extended to only up to here let me shade for you where the void the dimensions of the void will be it will be like this only up to here so what is the dimensions of this rectangle the dimensions of that rectangle shall be mm -hmm, let's use my pen from here from here up to here it was 4000 now we have reduced it by 200 but we have increased it by 200 another 200 all right the dimensions of the spread you remember the spread was coming up to outside the outside this wall the external wall okay so from 4000 was from the external outside the external wall here up to inside the wall we have reduced it by 200 because of the spread of this wall here i will use my yellow highlighters to show you what i'm talking about mm -hmm. no uh-huh i will mark this this wall here it has a spread of 200 let me take my time and explain to you uh this wall here has a spread of 200 so the spread will get up to here if it gets up to here and from uh, the external wall up to the end of the internal wall here it was 4000 so it shall be 4000 minus 200 then it has extended outside the wall with another 200 so the spread is outside the external wall so it shall be 4000 minus 200 that's 800 plus 200 for the wall that one is obvious so that's 800 plus 200 is 4000 then add for the spread okay another 200 so it shall be 4200 i hope that is clear 4200 is for the length and the width is 2000 because the width from outside the external wall up to uh the 2000 was here 2000 mm -hmm. it's the same concept the wind uh from let me rub so that you can be able to see uh the wind for the yes now it it is visible okay the wind was 2000 from here i will use my red pen for visibility uh, the wind was 2000 from here up to here now this 2000 we need to subtract for the foundation spread 200 okay when we subtract 200 2000 minus 200 we need to come and add 200 outside because of the spread that we had already assumed using the rectangle that we had uh, measured so it will be 2000 minus 200 plus 200 plus 200 it will be 2200 kindly uh, just replay it kindly just check again and again and you'll be able to understand it's a concept that you need to absorb slowly but once you get it it will be easy for you so that's why we shall book here 4.2 and 2.2 deduct detail the last three items on the void the last three items is site clearance removing the vegetable soil and reducing the level